The single biggest sticking point between Democrats and Republicans at the State House right now is that 3% tax surcharge that voters approved in November. <laughs> Democrats unveiled their spending plan today. They call it the Opportunity Agenda. It includes the 3% tax surcharge on income above the $200,000 mark to help pay for public education. What we're really trying to get at are two things, the highest, most excellent education standards and making sure that those standards and that education is available for any kid in the state, no matter where they live. How do you pay for it and what are you getting for your money? Republicans do not want that tax surcharge to survive this budget process. The governor did not include it in his spending proposal. House Minority Leader Ken Fredette says Maine can't afford the plan Democrats put forward today. Well, quite frankly, I think what you could easily see here is a, is a spending request easily approaching a billion dollars. And, and I don't necessarily think that's an opportunity for Maine. Fredette also questions the new revenues identified in the Democrats' budget, including an estimated $70 million over two years from new taxes on Amazon sales. Democrats stand by their figures and point out that Republicans have not put forward their own budget. What do they have to offer? Nothing except, well, maybe the numbers aren't right, or maybe we should do reforms on education. I mean, that's, that's not getting us anywhere either. Two competing spending plans are now on the table, and both sides need to start talking. In 60 days, we will need to have a budget ready to go. The clock is ticking. We're counting it every day. A state budget needs to be in place by July 1st or else Maine will face a state government shutdown. In Augusta, Paul Merrill, WMTW News 8.